Science guy Steve Spangler joining us today with a little experiment that involves an optical illusion. Well, uh, well, yes, a uh, little optical illusion. Hopefully your eyes don't play a trick on you. I cut these out of some cardboard, and we'll show everybody how to do this later on. I cut a yellow one for you and then a red one. All right. Okay, all so right. hold the yellow one on the bottom, the red one on the top. Hold it up okay. to the camera. Notice that the yellow one is bigger than the red one. Notice right. that? Now, if you okay. just do this, watch this. You just don't break away. You just switch them. You can do this. The yellow one is now bigger than the red one. Is that kind of fun? How does that happen? No, wait just a second. Hold on. The red one is bigger than the yellow one. Is that kind of fun? <laughs> or the yellow one's bigger than the red one? It's kind of like gas prices. Al Lewis had the that same at the end thing. of the video. It's either three dollars and ninety-nine cents and nine tenths of a cent, or four dollars. It's the same thing, isn't it? No, it seems like it's so much more, doesn't it? <laughs> and when in fact, amazing. if you do this, if you flip it over and compare correctly, and that's what we teach kids how to do is to compare correctly, they're to end. absolutely the same. They meet. You look at them. Yeah, absolutely look at that. the same. Yet when you hold them like this, the bottom one will always look a little bit longer. So why is that? Well, it's magic. So we're pretty much the segments over. <laughs> no. Look there at what is you're comparing. no explanation. So, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to cut these out. And here's how I, I did it. You can just take a, a paper plate if you want to or a styrofoam plate. And I just cut the edge out like this. So I, I got a set for you. Oh, okay. Just in case you're sitting at dinner and you have absolutely nothing to do, you can just kind of cut that out. And you get the same kind of thing. Uh, and again, two little arcs that are there. The bottom one will always look bigger. And you see this in the book, but it took me a little while to cut one out and to see what it was all about. About. Notice what you're comparing. I'll hold these up. You're actually comparing this long arc here to this smaller arc here. And if you do that, that's an unfair comparison. Oh, sure and you can enough. see how the bottom one will always look bigger. Now, um, you're not going to ever like run around with arcs and go to somebody and go, <laughs> hey, somebody, look at this. So this is what's so much fun in the grocery store. Bananas, bananas will do the same thing. All no, right. Kidding. So if you well, hold the banana will. up like this, that bottom one will always look bigger than the top look one. Look at that. So you wait until you're in the supermarket and you look <laughs> at the lady next to you and you say, um, is the bottom banana bigger than the top one? And she'll say yes. And you say, I always buy the smaller ones and stretch them like banana this. Make the bigger and, and there you go. And now it's that. perfect, isn't it? And <laughs> you if you can get somebody to do this, hold it up like this. Oh, okay. Ready? So get a kid to do this, this will, and, and hold them like that. Yeah. Okay. You have the kid cut them, right? So you say, here, cut them and make them even. So as soon as you do that, now switch sides. Now you really did mess it up, you know what I mean? <laughs> all right, so hold it to the very end like this. And now the kid can do this like all day long. And this is like a teacher's dream because it keeps the kid going to his desk for like hours. <laughs>